dropped it. If you hang on, maybe the kids are going to Whoa! Hello! <laughs> and you are, sorry. Oh, my name is Mark. <laughs> this is my wife, Maxine. Right. And this is uh, the Mighty Ride. Yeah. It's a 40 footer pusher, uh, Mercedes engine. Not Detroit, but he gets the job done. Want to take a look at it? Sure, let's right. take a look. Right. <coughs> On the outside, we didn't do much to it. Just basic stuff. Yeah. But had the um, the new Jeep, 2021 Jeep, those oh. headlights. Um, the cable won't work, but I have to change the, change the box to get different colors inside the lights. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I've seen those coming at me down the highway. but Yeah, and then would they have their bright ones on? We got our bright ones on, too. Right. <laughs> He's high. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I tell people that there should be a, a hyphen in between re and tired because I'm just tired all over. Just again. tired all the time. Yeah. And yeah, my red skins. <laughs> there you go. But basically, a 40 footer. We got cameras all the way around. Uh, solar panels. We got yep. about 460. Uh, okay. Yeah, I see you got. LED lights around too and yeah. light up the world. Light up the world. So I need lights all the way around. Get some little small ones. We don't need those big long ones. But no. It lights up all this around here. My short power is 110. Okay. I only need 50 watt or 30 watt. And that comes in with two tassels where we can plug up anything on the inside. And have a generator in the rear. Then we can just run the cable outside here. Or yep. have it hooked up on the inside where we want to run our TVs and stuff like that versus running the batteries down. Right, right. Now, how much solar do you have? 460 watts. Okay. Yeah. They're on top and they do a good job. Yeah, I, um, I've got 780. I added 300 last year. Mm -hmm. Made all the difference in the world. Yeah. But Santan Solar mm -hmm. over in Phoenix. Yeah. Real good prices on stuff, so. Has my generator. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> That's one thing nice about a pusher is you got a little bit of room to put it back to put something. Yeah. yeah, and that's gas, so I can't run it while I'm moving because the diesel costs more. Yeah, and, yeah, it does. <laughs> and this way I can take it out. If I'm sitting somewhere, oh, we got a tent we can set up and bring the generator out. Right. It's easier. It's easier. Uh, window air conditioning. <laughs> you know, compartmentalized so it can sit cool in one spot. That'd be pretty good. And yeah, I got my little light. Yeah. I've been thinking about adding those to mine. And I have a table. So oh. we're out here, and I'll show you the grill on the inside. We'll right. Take our grill, set our heel off of it. If you want to sit outside and go to the park. Yep. Well, it's nice as you, you know, you cook or you. Yep, put it right there. You know, got I got that idea from Mike from uh, Navigation Nowhere. <laughs> yeah. All my ideas Mike, came from somebody. Yeah. But I'll get it to Mike. I go up and visit Mike every year. Yeah. I'm going to have him Where it's cold. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If he doesn't come down this way. But... I went to school up there. Oh, and, okay. uh... I'm going to show you the inside. Yeah. Are you good? Sorry. Nah, you're good. Uh -huh. All right, it's not much on the inside, but it was a good build, but still working on the ceiling because I put na screw nails in instead of screws. Uh huh. And that's what yeah, I this, done. this stuff, um, it helped Jax Austin put it in his bus. Mm -hmm. Both of us swore we'd never use it again. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't see that video. I saw it was put it in. Yeah, but, well, then I, I did the cedar in my bathroom with the same stuff, but it was short pieces. Short pieces, and, and you can put it up in this. Well, I mean, we build it like you're, you're, uh, um, you're driving an earthquake. It's yeah. always good, vibrations, stuff is going to come loose. Twisting and turning, yeah. yeah. So. So screws would have been better. Okay, got my two seating arrangements here. Got my um, spare parts and everything over here. Sure. Uh, here's my power stations. I got four marine batteries, 3,000 watt inverter. Yep. Uh, that's under there. Uh, the lady at my church, beautiful lady. She hand sewed our comforters and uh, nice things for us. And the made, she made the pillows. <laughs> yeah. 
little nook so we can sit down and eat. This is where I have the other batteries here. Okay. Little power station. I have the uh, Chinese diesel heater as well. That's over in here. Yep. There. And my little control station there. Now the lights that we show, I showed you outside, that's for these. Got two in the front, two in the back, so it's giving me 360. Yep. Yep. I've been thinking about putting the, the switches in my bed so in the middle of the night I can just turn them on. Turn them on, scare them. I only had one scare where somebody came up at four in the morning and their oh. hand, and that was nowhere near any, any houses or anything. They had to be targeted in the bus. Yeah. Put their hand on the window and I sat up. I happened to be awake. I must have heard them you know, trying other things. And I yelled something, and they actually yelled yikes and ran away. Right. And that was a good thing. Would have been nice to light the world up on them, though. Yeah, oh yeah. Because when it's real dark, oh, yep. it's like a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yep. And I have a sink. I have, um... oh, let me back up. Yeah, this is. Yeah, you know, can't show it here. I've seen quite a few burners. people have them. They work nice. You can, and you can pick it up and move it outside if you and want. That's, that's what I say about the bench. Just unhook the back, pick it up, and go out there. And we have little small bottles. You yep. can hook it up to it, and it works well outside. Sure. Okay. Yeah, on a hot day, you can bake something and not heat the bus and not up. Not heat the bus up because this this metal gets hot. Well, you, yeah, it does. <laughs> it gets hot. Yep. I saw the nice little shelf up here to put little things. We're not on it full time, but when we go, we like to have everything we need if we have to stay out longer or whatever. Right. Because I just retired, and uh, she's only got another year or so before she retires. Then we can do it a lot longer. Um, Camping plugs, hot water tank, heater. Sure. Now, how much uh, how much uh, fresh water do you carry? Fresh water. Fresh water. I have uh, underneath the bed there. It's a hundred gallons fresh water. I have seventy-five gallon gray water right. and a thirty-five gallon black tank. Okay. So, because I didn't want to, I didn't I, the compost toilet. Nah, that ain't me. Yeah. <laughs> I could do it, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> right. Well, that's the beauty of it. You build it for you, not for, not for what everybody else. else thinks. Exactly. Um, as it, you know, get the little puck lights all the way down, uh -huh. but also I have these lights, these are all motion operated lights, and I have the bug lights one there and one in the back. Okay, so if some power goes down, I still have lights, right? Okay, um, and then everything I have also battery and I have generator as well. Okay, we keep all our food and all our miscellaneous stuff in here. A uh, little refrigerator does the job. Yep. Yep. That runs off our uh, inverter. So I have, uh, most of the stuff I have in here is uh, 12 volt. But this is 110, and the plugs are 110, <laughs> so we can run our TVs and the camera system. Those are 110. So right. Okay. We have a tub because she didn't want to do the shower. <coughs> oh, excuse me. She didn't want to do the shower. We want uh -huh. a tub. <laughs> so we set that up. They work great. Yep. Long day. It was a hot day. We just sit and soak. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Now, here's the bathroom. This way here. All right. Yep, and you said you had the black tank. So the black tank right underneath of it, sink, the water in that. Um, mm -hmm. That right there is for the diesel heater. Because sure. I didn't want to sit outside so it won't gel up. Right. And those little plastic lines underneath of there, they'll gel up in a minute. So I got mine's kind of like insulated. Right. Best I could. Okay. His in her closet. She only can take. Whatever she want to take goes in her closet. <laughs> don't fit in the closet, it can't go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My closet here. I got, a, I got the. Um, Come on, let's be truthful. Oh. Half of that's gonna end up being hers. No, uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> that's the deal. I just broke the locker because <coughs> I put the uh, floor, the um, cedar. I bought another pack to finish the ceiling off oh, and okay. put nice little designs on these so it looks so bare. But both closets are the same. You got a close right there and. Little storage thing there, sure. but it does the job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And also, we, got, you know, we have uh, she has one that has one electric heater in case we have to run the generator. If something happens to the propane, All right? We have uh, Mr. Buddy that goes out, and uh, the diesel heater goes out. We still have electric backup for the backup, backup, backup yeah. to the backup, exactly. And back there, big queen size bed. Oh. There's Mr. Buddy, and she's going to keep an eye on Mr. Buddy, of course. TV, everything we need. 
Now that plug right there, that's the one that runs straight down to the generator. Oh, okay. So if we need to plug up something here or run it, or mainly for the air conditioner. That has a runoff generator, we can't run off batteries. All right. Got the little push lights up there, those are battery as well. Yep. And yeah. that's all this. Oh, we got about almost twenty thousand dollars, but all the manual labor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you start adding up hours and putting a price tag price on tag. that, it's just... It just goes way up. But yeah. it's like, but when I was putting it together, I'd start on one project, have a thought about another project, and I would go do that back and forth, back and forth, versus taking from the front and going all the way back, because it took, took about a year to build, and it took time. Yeah. And money. <laughs> and right. and, and you run into, you got the time and you don't have the money. money. Then you got the money, you don't have the, don't time. Have the time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, we've all been through it. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, some people say, well, it only took like nine months. It was a reason for that. <laughs> yeah. Mine took two, it was over the course of two years, but again, Western New York, November to March. Nope. Too cold. Not working out there. Yep. And, and just, you know, it's that cold. You start making mistakes. And um, then I was only working, I was working full time. So I was only working on it three hours a day. And I All had right. my grandson for one of my days off. And then so one full day, mm -hmm. I figured it out once that it actually took me three months to build it over the course of over two course, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Cause like, I wasn't gonna do it, you know, get out here every day. And then I'd see ideas and yep. you know, just stripping it down. The only mistake I the ceiling. I should have left the ceiling alone. But stripping it all down, looking at the floor, grinding the floor, painting the floor. I yep. want to make sure all that was done right. And, you know, yep. it was like, well, who helped build that? I said, we had this company, m and Mark and Maxine. Yeah. <laughs> that was and the then, it, then, of course, <laughs> as everybody watches my videos, it's like, schoolies are never done. It's they're, always a work in progress. They're done-ish. You're done-ish. Yes. You're going to find something you want to change, and you change it. And you change it and keep moving. Yep. Yeah. So... Uh, now, do you have any kind of social media presence? If somebody wanted to get a hold of you, ask uh, questions or whatever, we are, we are, we have only we have all the videos, but she has not put them together. But we do it, we do have a channel. It's called the Mighty Ride. Okay. On YouTube. Well. And uh, we maybe want to this will bring videos. people in. I hope it does. Yeah. Yeah. Get to see, people get to see it, and because I use everyone else's idea, and if I they see something here, hey, that's why I do this. Information only is good, as someone else uses it. That's why I do this series that I'm always getting people that, hey, I watched, you know, I got this idea, I got that idea. I get ideas. I found one the other day that I'm going to incorporate into my bus. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's always a work in progress. All right. Well, thank you. It's a beautiful bus. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let me put your sticker up.